The myth is that cochlear implants fix hearing loss and the individual will function like a hearing person. The fact is that cochlear implants are tools that help provide people access to auditory information. Not all people with cochlear implants benefit in the same way. Functional ability ranges from full auditory verbal communication to mere detection of sound in the environment. Individuals with cochlear implants are hearing. The most highly skilled cochlear implant users still hear differently than the typical hearing individual. Even with a functioning cochlear implant, the ability to detect, discriminate, and make sense of sound varies by individual. Without a functioning cochlear implant, individuals are deaf. This can happen when cochlear implants are off, as in sleeping, swimming, bathing, discomfort, having broken parts, or dead batteries. Myth. Students don't need an individual education plan, or IEP, if they have a cochlear implant. Facts. Students with cochlear implants may need to have accommodations, modifications, and other services documented in an individual education plan, or IEP, a 504 plan or Early Intervention Individual Family Service Plan or IFSP. Okay, myth. Students who have cochlear implants don't need accommodations or interpreters, etc. The fact is that students with cochlear implants might need services like interpreters, printed information, or hearing assistive technology like an FM or something. Um, they might need this because they need to access auditory information at school. This is decided by the educational team and that includes the parents. with cochlear implants are not accepted into the deaf community or are considered to be a part of deaf culture. Thus, people with cochlear implants are in the deaf community where they use ASR and share deaf culture values. As in any culture group, there are exceptions. Acceptance varies by the individual. Some people with cochlear implants choose to be involved in the deaf community, and some do not. Whatever you decide is okay. Cochlear implants are successful for all people. Success means different things to different people. Some people are happy to hear environmental sounds while others have a goal to talk on the phone and enjoy music. Users experience different rates of progress. Some people develop full listening and spoken language skills. Some people have limited benefit and continue to rely on visual information. And some even choose to stop using the cochlear implant because they do not experience benefits. Some people with cochlear implants don't use sign language. Fact. Some people with cochlear implants sign, but they don't talk. Some people with cochlear implants talk, but they don't sign. Some people with cochlear implants, they use both. They talk and sign at the same time. And then there are some people who, depending on the situation or who they communicate with, use any of these. Myth. Parents should not sign with their children who are implanted. Facts. Children benefit from as much language input as possible, utilizing multiple modes of communication, including voice, sign, pictures, gestures, 
role play, and any other means of exposing children to language will help the child develop a more full vocabulary, ultimately leading to increased ability with expressive communication.